Right, so just what are esters? What are esters? Um, this is part of the carboxylic acids and derivatives topic. Uh, this is going to focus around esters and what they are. Um, it's going to be quite a short video, I hope. Um, quite a simple one as well, so we'll see. Anyway, esters, they are organic molecules which have the functional group of COO and expanded. That looks something like, or a lot like, that, where here we have some sort of R group type thing going on. Obviously, it needn't be the exact same R group. We could have R1 and R2, for example. Who knows? These are our functional groups for the ester. So esters themselves, they are the love child of a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. Um, to make them, you literally add a carboxylic acid and an alcohol together uh, with a little bit of a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst, a little bit of heat there, and the magic happens and an ester is born. Um, esters generally, they have a very, very similar structure because they obviously have to, they've got functional groups like this. Um, in terms of what they actually look like, um, one of my favourite esters, uh, this one here. So if I start with a functional group in the middle, got a carbon R group there, and then my R group portion, got a carbon, three hydrogens, and on the other side, I'm going to put a carbon with three hydrogens. Again, so this is the basic structure of a very, very simple ester. Um, <coughs> what I've got here is an ester called methyl ethanoate. Um, and the naming, I think, with esters is probably the bit that people find hardest. It's which bit of this is the methyl or the ethanoate part, which obviously you can work out, hopefully, the methyl ethanoate based on, this, on the structure. But it's knowing from a given name how to potentially draw it as to which side should be the methyl, which side should be the ethanoate. Really super easy way of doing this. This ester, think of them always as being in two halves. And the halves of the ester go right through the oxygen there. And the two halves of the ester are based upon the molecules that it actually was formed from. So we can see here, <coughs> we've got this, what I'm calling is the ethanoate portion. And this is the bit that came from the carboxylic acid. And there's an easy way of knowing that because I can see that it has this carbonyl group, which comes from the carboxylic acid. And F, an alcohol, which is the other thing that makes up the uh, ester doesn't have a carbonyl group. So this bit here is the part that comes from the carboxylic acid. In terms of naming, carboxylic acids, um, think about the acids and bases topic, you've got sodium methanoate, the salts come, that come from the uh, those weak carboxylic acids, the uh, methanoate, ethanoate, that salt portion is exactly what we've got here, that ethanoate part coming in this case from ethanoic acid. One thing I would say, be careful, don't just look at this carbon here for the naming, there is a second carbon that will always be present as part of the carbonyl group of the functional group. So we had our carboxylic acid, in this case, ethanoic acid, and we add that, in this case, to methanol. And what we find is around here, a Condensation reaction occurs, which in this case forms water. Needn't always, though. Don't let the name put you off. Condensation reaction occurs where water is ejected, and the resulting molecule is this ester methyl ethanoate. So, once more, the naming works. The alcohol portion has the alkyl part of the name, and the ethanoate, in this case, whoop, is from the carboxylic acid part with the carbonyl group, always named in the same way, ethyl ethanoate, propyl methanoate, whatever, always named the same way. In terms of adding extra bits onto here, you could have chloros, bromos and whatever, um, you could have other alkyl groups here and you would name them as is each half. So you always have separate words, the methyl, so this could be I don't know, dimethyl, whatever it be, uh, chloroethanoate, number and, and all the rest of it, as you would do in normal nomenclature, but keeping it as two separate words there. Um, the other thing you could do is you could work backwards, as I've sort of showed you here, um, from a given car uh, ester, and then work out which um, carboxylic acid uh, it was formed from and which alcohol based on the structure. So, that there is pretty much... Esters, there'll be a separate video looking at their uses, uh, biodiesel and all that. But those are esters, functional group, what they are. The structure of esters, 
bit about how to name them, there you have it.